This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskow. It's the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of Global Fallen Angels has increased to 22 issuers through December 8th, with one addition since our last report. We define Fallen Angels as issuers that Standard & Poor's rating services downgrades to speculative grade, double B plus and lower, from investment grade, triple B minus and higher. Of the 22 Fallen Angels we have identified so far in 2014, 11 are based in the U.S. Negative outlooks and Credit Watch negative placements are good leading indicators of downgrades because they're strong predictors of rating actions in the aggregate and when broken out by rating category, region, or sector. The number of global potential fallen angels, issuers rated triple B minus with either negative rating outlooks or ratings on Credit Watch with negative implications, inched up to 53 this reporting cycle with two additions and one removal. By region, the U.S. leads with 19 entities, or 35% of all potential fallen angels, followed by the EMEA region, which is Eastern Europe, Middle East, and Africa, with 18 entities. U.S. corporate bond yields change by rating category and borrowing costs increase noticeably when moving down the rating scale to double B from triple B. For issuers in the triple B rating category, bond spreads range from 117 basis points to 157 basis points greater than the benchmark five-year Treasury's yield during the 12 months end of November 28th. For issuers in the double B rating category, which encompasses double B plus, double B, and double B minus, borrowing spreads range from 223 basis points to 358 basis points more than Treasury's. The double B spreads are both higher and span a wider range than the triple B spreads. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.